this is the last video from my Thanksgiving day with my family. So I'm just going to get it out the way. This is my white cheddar Gouda mac and cheese recipe. So yeah, we're going to get right into it. And this week we're going to be coming up with some fresh and delicious recipes. And this one was very easy and simple to make. So I have white cheddar cheese. This is my favorite white cheddar cheese and Gouda from the Aldi supermarket. It's really good and it's low in cost, like it's cheap. So to my pot, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour. And you wanna cook that out for about mm, one minute just to get the flour taste to cook off. And yeah, so I do have other Thanksgiving recipes that I made, but I'm not sure you guys want them. And you know, I'm kind of over it, <laughs> to be honest. You know, I toss recipes and videos all the time, but um, this time for sure, I'm not going to upload all those videos because it's just not worth it to me, my opinion. But I wanted to share this mac and cheese because it was actually super delicious. So now I'm going to add the entire can of carnation milk. Once you start adding your milks, you can't stop mixing. Like I'm doing here, I've been doing it 100 years, so I'm good with doing that, but do not stop mixing. Next, I'm gonna add an entire carton of half and half. This is the, the short box, uh, a pint. There we go, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> a pint of carnation, I mean, half and half. Next, I added a tablespoon of garlic, pureed garlic. I added some smoked paprika, salt, and pepper. And that's it. But you can season this however you want to. Remember, all ingredient measurements will be in my description box. So make sure you check that out. <laughs> and, you know, make this mac and cheese. So now I'm adding all my shredded cheese. I added a block of the white cheddar, um, half the block of the Gouda, and half the package of the mozzarella. And you want to mix this in. Your stove should be off at this point because you don't want to cook the cheese. You're just melting cheese. And you want to keep mixing, keep mixing. It's going to melt. Don't worry. I know it looks crazy as hell, but it's going to melt. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then I'm going to add the noodles and I'll show you guys what's next. Alright, so once I add the noodles, I'm going to add all the noodles down in here and get it nice and mixed up. Now, I wasn't able to get, you know, me cutting into it because, you know, again, I was cooking for family and I had to wait. And you know, when you're having fun and this, that, and the third, you forget, you know. And But the same thing you're looking at right here is the same thing you're going to get once you cut into it because all we're doing is adding melting cheese in the oven. So this right here is what's in the inside. <laughs> okay, I just want to make that clear. This is what's in the inside because all we're doing is melting cheese. The macaroni and cheese is already cooked. But look how cheesy and delicious this looks. So I mixed up some more white cheddar, the rest of the Gouda, some more mozzarella. And I placed it all over top. And I'm just going to pop it in the oven. And I'll for sure show you guys what that looks like in just a second. About 20 to 25 minutes later, this is what you got. It's nice and golden and crisp on top and bubbly and delicious. So I hope you guys give this a try. I'm telling you, it's worth it. Go to Ali and get that cheese because not all white cheddar cheese are made the same. Okay, they're not made the same. <laughs> love you guys. Thank you for watching and I love you for your support. And bye.